believe, I believe that when we feel safe within ourselves, we're safer in the world. When we're safer in the world, we can do almost anything. When we feel safe, we can create, we can invent, we can try new things, we can take unbelievable risks. Yeah? Yeah. However, what is it? What is it really to feel safe within ourselves? Yeah? Now, check it out. I believe that you and I, we probably go through life most days, and we feel pretty safe. We feel pretty safe within ourselves. You know, we get things done. We do our work. We work with our family, and, and things are going fine. And then something happens. Then a, a thought occurs like, well, I don't know. I maybe need to get out of this job, or I need to get out of this relationship, or I need to make this kind of change, or I want to try something new in my life. And what starts to happen is a conversation. A conversation in your head. You know what I'm talking about, yeah? A conversation of the pros, the cons, the well, why I should or why I shouldn't. You know, all of that starts to happen. Now, this is normal and important. We have to think things through before we move forward, eh, more or less, right? However, there comes a point where sometimes, sometimes that conversation of these parts of us, these what I call players on my inside team, <laughs> these players start getting nasty. <laughs> yeah? They start getting a little abusive. They start getting vicious. Hmm. Now, I never meant to become a bully. Did you? So, what the hell do we do with this? What do we do when this kind of conversation in our own head becomes as destructive as bullying in the outside world? Yeah? We see this all the time. On, on, in media now, oh, everyone's talking about bullying and how it's so bad and, gee, we don't know what causes bullying. Yes, we do. Right here. If we're bullying ourselves, how can we not bring that to the outside world? So, so, they mentioned that I'm a coach. I've worked with lots of people over the years to build their businesses, to get in better health, to shift relationships that they're in. And time after time, what comes down to, it comes down to the relationship that we have with ourself. This is one of the main conversations I have with people. I notice personally that I tend to bully myself in two ways. So check it out and see if you know these. First, there's the kind of inside bully that happens where it's like, like, it's like, mm, it's like, you, like, you, you know, you know the conversation for you, yeah? And then, and then, so that one, that one, I tend to want to go, go, cut it out, cut it out, go, right? I, go, I just kind of want to, I want to ignore the whole thing. I pop on the TV. I do something to change my mind, to get rid of it. And it comes back, right, louder, right? And then, and this one was a little bit more tricky to notice for me, is there are the parts of myself that feel lost, that feel alone, that feel weak or they don't know how. The ones that kind of go, ah, ah. you know those parts, I bet you do, because I bet you're a hell of a lot like me. So, so what do we do? I want to offer you an idea here. The idea is about being in better relationship with these parts of yourself. Well, how do we do that? Yeah? Now, I'm guessing that I'm speaking to a fairly sophisticated group. You probably have done a lot of personal growth work, and you know a good deal about yourself. And maybe you've been working on this to, to, you know, to find a way to quiet that voice or to find a way to accept that voice. That's cool. That's good. And I want to offer you one more way. 
Yeah? It goes like this. The first thing that we do is we notice this voice that's happening. We notice what it is. And if, whether it's screaming at us or whining to us or just being a little bit nasty, what I want you to try is try turning toward it. Try turning toward it with curiosity and start to see what happens. So this morning, I was driving down here on the 405, and it was an absolute parking lot. Parking lot. Now, I have, personally, I am really, being on time is so important to me. So important. And so what started happening? A little conversation. This inside team, a little conversation. Yeah, it starts, oh, well, it's going to be all right. It's okay. Be calm. Yeah. <laughs> then pretty soon, this, the, the next piece is like, why didn't you leave earlier? <laughs> you should have left earlier, right? You should, have, you should have done it this way. You should have done it that way. You should have, you, yeah? Why weren't you being responsible? You're not being responsible. Like that, right? You know, so this could be anything. But so what I had to do, even right there on my, in the car on the 405, I had to go, huh. I had to turn toward this part of me. And I had to become curious. What is it? What is it if there were a, 2% truth in what this one is trying to say to me, what might it be? Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, it would have been a good idea to leave earlier. I get that. But that's not going to help me now, stuck on the 405. So what do you want for me now? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I get a sense that the 2% truth here is that this, this part of me wants me to do well, and it wants me to do well in relationship. I didn't want to disappoint someone by not being here on time. No. It's okay. It's okay. We can do this together. It's going to be all right. And bit by bit, bit by bit, the adversary starts becoming an ally. Yeah. We're a little bit, I'm a little bit safer with that voice than I was when it started. I believe that when we feel safer in ourselves, we're safer in the world. Yeah? I assert that we're safer in the world when we're safe within ourselves. And when we're safe within ourselves, my God, Good God, can we create magic. Yeah. Thank you for your time.